The following video was created for the specific purpose of fulfilling the social gaming project requirement for Professor Steve Knoll of Madison College. The footage you are currently seeing would be what the book may define as a social game or a social gaming website. As you'll see further in the video, my definition tends to vary a little bit, and I will expand on that in just a few seconds. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, I'd like to highlight one aspect of this that makes it a social game. For example, as you can see right here, I can select as many or as little amount of friends as I'd like to invite. As a result of inviting your friends, you get more opportunities to play, more in-game currency, and more benefits as you progress through the levels. Now let's take a look at the in-game store. What we do here is purchase different items to progress through the story of a video game or during the different levels. As you can see here, we are highlighting microtransactions which allows us to hook up a credit card to use our real-life currency for in-game currency. Now we're going to take a look at what I would define or distinguish the difference of a social game and a regular video game. To me, a regular video game is something that doesn't involve a social aspect. Now, what might this aspect be? Well, for example, social gaming would involve interaction between other players, whether it's across the living room, across the country, across the world. It is, however, important to note that I would consider social gaming to be something that takes place over the internet or a different form of connection. My definition for a regular standard video game is actually quite dull. It's basically something that you invest your own time in and you don't interact with anybody else. The focus is more on a single player aspect rather than a multiplayer aspect. A few examples of the current video game generation that would fulfill this category would be the Bioshock franchise as well as Fallout. They might even include things such as the God of War franchise, anything like that, with a strong story and character base. That is what defines a standard video game to me. As a gamer myself, I consider social gaming to be pretty important, a large aspect in my free time, and quite the invention and creation. As you can see here, I'm scrolling through the different PlayStation 3 options in the interface, such as Friends, the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Home, PlayStation Plus. It allows you to interact with hundreds of different people, thousands of different people at that. And on top of that, it's a cool experience. Nothing wrong with that. A few demographics of social gaming could involve the following pieces of information. 58% are over the age of 40. 44% earn over $50,000 per year. 12% earn over $100,000 per year, and of the website that I got this research from, 46% of which are male and 54% are female. Could be pretty surprising to most people. Now comes the big question, why is it so popular? A lot of factors do play into the result and conclusion of this question. For example, the development of technology lately over the past few years has been nothing short of impressive, through the implementation of various tablets and smartphones and other forms of social media interaction. Number two, games cover a wide variety of genres and topics. That pretty much stands for itself, doesn't need a whole lot of explanation there. Third fact, social media sites are beginning to expand when speaking strictly in regards to the older population. For example, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, are beginning to get their own Facebook and Twitter accounts to interact with their family and their friends that they haven't had contact with in quite some time. Works great for long distance relationships as well. Another point is that people love just friendly competition. They love interaction, chances to win prizes, and who can fight a good cooperative experience? Not I. Now it's time to answer yet another huge question. Why embrace social media? Well, to be quite honest, you'd be foolish not to in this day and age. Social gaming can help improve results and products, whether that be exposure or just build hype. A lot of people like to do that for various movies, even other video games themselves by giving trials, opening beta testing, things like that. Nothing bad can happen from it if it's done correctly, and I cannot emphasize that enough. For number four, we'll take a look at word of mouth. It's rather straightforward, but if you need an example in real life, we'll talk about our good buddy Jimmy Kimmel. So we discussed many a time in class as well as on the Blackboard site, he played the field exactly how and when he should have played it. Though he may not have embraced social gaming in particular, he really did showcase the power that social media has in today's culture. 18 million views later on YouTube, he's standing with a stronger and more populated fan base. Last piece of advice I can give towards companies as to why they should embrace social gaming is quite simple. Millions of people use social media. There's nothing wrong with that. If it's done correctly and successfully, it will catch on. Word will spread like wildfire. 
The games that the book may define as being social gaming are different than the games that I would pick for social gaming. For example, how the book would define social gaming. Those games I would consider to have a little bit less action, they're smaller games as a whole, Typically, they are free or they do come at a cheaper price tag as opposed to a big quote-unquote AAA title such as Battlefield, Halo, Call of Duty, God of War, Bioshock, things like that. Though there are many differences, there are also similarities such as the heavy base of interaction with others, whether that be friends, family, or random people, the sense of co-op or competitive experience, whatever you prefer, and also through the use of microtransactions. Having said all that, that will conclude this video and the remainder of the project. I'd like to thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.